welcome back and this is one of our first specials it's a pickup truck special and uh, unfortunately on our very first lane things uh, took a bit of a turn for the worst and uh, we had a bit of rain come down and it really changed the uh, conditions of the lane and it got pretty serious i didn't want to really show it but i thought sometimes it's best to show these kind of things because you know laning can change in an instant and yeah hope you enjoyed guys and see what we got up to to try and uh, recover ourselves uh, enjoy the video We've got some smart looking uh, Navaras here, and especially this one here. And we've got the L200, uh, a couple more Navaras, and we've got the VW T3 Synchro running a Super Impreza engine, which is uh, pretty uh, pretty good. And then we've got the Steed, and then we've got Bomber in the Defender, and uh, yeah, he's bringing up the rear. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today we've got a bit of a bit of an issue on the first lane it's wet a bit of a steep climb there and uh, the vehicles are starting to slide off the, off the top so a bit of winching a bit of recovery you see over there so yeah it's going to be a bit of a disaster this first one but let's see how we get on now this is where things got pretty uh, pretty serious and uh, also we've gone past the point in the return and it it just would have been impossible to all go backwards so just carried on and uh, yeah as you'll see now uh, it starts to get pretty tricky the vehicle slide in and uh, very close to coming off And it's so greasy now, you can see Ross there, nearly lost the back end. Some sketchy does. Yeah. Go slowly. Go slowly. Um, yeah, go on, we're here, go slowly. We'll try and push you a bit. No, I think, I think we're trying to get a strap on it. Yeah, get, get, get a winter in the tree. Yeah, you can see there the uh, sinker was sliding about as well but luckily i've got the winch for self-recovery and uh, yeah a few track boards down and now we can get him going it's so light in the back end isn't it yeah. <laughs> Push up back end over. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got I've played on the traction board and bridge to bring that. Okay, and then where are they in the tub, are they? Uh, no, What a difference a set of track boards makes really really does make the difference here and uh, great recovery there nice and slippy
Oof, that's two safely cross. Let's bring on the rest. And it's also great to see all these guys here, you know, all getting together, helping, uh, helping each other out. And uh, safety is a big thing here. And uh, yeah, we, we, you know, we don't want any accidents. So we've got to all work together, keep pushing the vehicles, do our best to keep everybody on the track, even though it's so, so slippery. And uh, yeah, keep watching. That's it. You need to keep it moving now. And that's another one safely through. Uh, bring on the next one. Let's uh, keep it going, guys. Well done. Now this is foil drive on the edge and as you can see it's uh, pretty close there so we're just trying to work out different ways to try and secure the vehicle and work out how to try and get him back on the track as well so yeah keep watching guys so we're going for winch and snatch block from behind let's see how this goes Now this is seriously, seriously close and no front recovery on the front end so we've got to resort to uh, doing it this way just to keep him on the, on the track. Now. 
And there we are, look, we found a routine now with the boards keep putting in front of each other. You see, try and make a bridge across this top half of the track now. And that's some really great driving there. I bet all these guys here are getting pretty nervous on this as well. So it's you know fair play to everybody. You know, good drivers there, good, good, yeah, good drive. Whew. And you can just see here like the front wheel's trying to turn into the bank, but obviously it causes the back end to slide out then as well. So it's uh, pretty tricky this is. And to see how slippy it is, watch Dave from the Steed now. He'll show you how slippy it is. <laughs> Steady on, chap. <laughs> And as you can see here, the uh, the routine's working really well, putting the boards in front of each other each time, nice and steady. And uh, even though momentum's a key as well to try and clear the wheels, it's so difficult to do both. Uh, so sketchy, it really is. But fair play to everybody. Right now, let's get the, uh, the steed across this section now. Uh, it's on all terrains, it's skinnier tyres, so it should help. And everybody's aired down as well to make it a little bit more easier. But let's uh, see how he gets on. Right, hello, Andy. Here we go, going. Good, yeah? Yeah. Well, then. Look, hang on. Let's stop him up. Yeah. You don't have to do it, Right, stay there. Go on, Ed. Go forward, yeah? Yeah, yeah. just a bit.
Just as we thought the guys at the front were okay then, it got a bit sleepy down the far end as well. So uh, drama down that side too. Well done guys and yeah uh, good teamwork there fair play now let's see how a uh, bomber gets on and uh, a bit of winch in here and uh, but he's got really good tires quite skinny tires so it should uh, help cut through the uh, the mud and not float across the top of the, the wider uh, mud terrain tires that the other guys have got so yes let's see uh, how he does it <laughs> what's this dan taking uh, king bob for a walk look at this and it doesn't even need to use the traction boards. <laughs> Fair play, bomb. Nice one, buddy. And see, so, you know, this is it, like a bit of a narrow vehicle as well, but momentum is the key. So you've got to keep on, keep the wheels going, turn in slightly, but straighten up so you don't lose the back end. And you can watch him now. Look at this. This is a proper driver. Really good. Fair play to him. Well done guys, team effort there, team effort, fair play, nice one, but we're not out of the woods yet, uh, this bit is a bit slippy too, uh, let's see how the boys get on down here. Uh, well done Ross, nice one mate. Nice one, John. Hold on, mate. Well, well done, Jacob. Nice one, buddy. Nice one, Dan. Spot on, mate. Well done, Sam. Good effort, buddy.
Well done, Dave. Nice on, pal. Nice one, bomb. Good drive, mate. Well, what a lane that was, and just goes to show you how quick conditions can change. You know, a bit of rain, a bit of drizzle, and it just changes it straight away. So, yeah, okay, we're back onto a bit flatter track. So, yeah, let's uh, have a nice gentle drive for a bit now. Now we're back onto one of our favourite tracks and this one's a bit more tougher, a bit of a challenge this is as well. And it's really good to see now how all the uh, pickup trucks really negotiate these uh, corners, tight hairpins. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a good one. Keep watching guys. Oh no, that's a telltale sign of a blowout. That's the steed. Uh oh. The tire's gone flat. You're better off to go straight down. Don't, don't stop in here. Just roll it down gently. Here we go, first up Ross on the corner, he hasn't done it for a while so he might be a bit rusty, let's see how he gets on. Watch this thing, this is triple locked, so you should uh, get around here no problem. <laughs> Just listen to the sound of that, that's pretty epic. What a sound!
That's it. So with these longer wheelbases, the trick is to go as far out as you can towards the edge and then tuck in on the uh, on the hairpin and up the hill then. And it can be done, but it is a bit difficult, especially with these guys that haven't done it before. So yeah, it's pretty good to watch though. Oh, nice one, Sam. Nearly all the way around. Fair play. Good drive. There you go, and this just shows how tight these lanes are, all these corners. Look at that. And here comes the uh, steed now. Let's see how he gets on. Oh, it's going to be a little too quick. Slow down, buddy. Don't go any further. Yep. Ah, so he took that corner a bit too fast and uh, went straight into a tree and smashed up the front end of the, uh, the bumper there. Picked all the bits up, chucked them in the back. And the uh, best thing to do is just stay where you are and let's try and winch you around the corner because uh, there's a drop just behind. Here we go, another river crossing. Ah, we do love the river crossings on our vids, don't we? <laughs> we always seem to find them, no matter where we go. Uh, let's see how the boys get on with this one. And it's, nah, it's not too high, but uh, there's a few more rocks and moves around that riverbed, so hopefully nobody gets caught out. And here he is, Colin McRae, in the bathtub, coming across the river. <laughs> Have a listen to this guys, this sounds amazing. Oh, I love the echo, the sound of that uh, boxer engine. Just uh, bring back the old days, being at the old forest rallies. That was pretty epic, that was.
we go, everybody safely across the river crossing, on to the next one. Now this will be a test for the pickups. Go on Ross, round in one. Back, can you go back a little bit? Back a little bit more. Can you go. Okay, well, I do. straight and go back. That's it. Stop. Go back now. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, from there, up and around.
Take another shot, Dave. Goodbye. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Whoa, that don't, whoa, that's from there, though. Straight, then turn on the bank. Nice one, Jacob. Watch this now. Yeah, I know he's fucking animal. It's mental. King Bob <laughs> on the bend <laughs> in one. Yeah. Now, what a corner this is. I don't really film this uh, this corner very often, but uh, it's proving a little bit exciting now on this corner. So yeah, let's watch the guys come up. guys hope you enjoyed that and a good insight to how lanes can change in an instant and if you haven't subscribed smash that subscribe button and keep watching our videos cheers everybody see you again soon